America Online is famous for the expression, you've got mail, but what Vincent Ferrari got when he tried to cancel his AOL account was a lot of frustration. It took him 15 minutes just to talk to a real person. And here's what happened next. Hi, this is John at AOL. How may I help you today? I wanted to cancel my account. Sorry to hear that. But pull your account up here real quick. Can I have your name, please? Vincent Ferrari. Been this account for a long time? Yep. It's just quite a bit. What was going on turning this off today? I just don't use it anymore. Do you have a high-speed connection like the DSL or cable? Yep. How long have you had that? Yeah. The high-speed? Years. Well, actually, I'm showing a lot of usage on this account. Yeah, a long, well, time, a long time ago. Not recently. Well, okay. I mean, is there a problem with the software itself? No, I just I don't use it. I don't need it. I don't want it. I just don't need it anymore. So when you use this, I mean, you use the computer, I'm saying. Is that for business or for Dude, what for difference school? does it make? I don't want the AOL account anymore. Can we please cancel it? Last year was 540, last month was 545 hours of usage. I don't know how to make this any clearer, so I'm just going to say it one last time. Cancel the account. Well, please. explain to me what's, what, why. I'm not explaining to... anything to you. Cancel okay. the account. Well, well, what's the matter, man? So, I mean, we're just, I'm just trying to help here. You're not right. helping me. You're helping me with yeah, I am trying to help. Helping okay. me, listen, I called to cancel the account. Helping me would be canceling the account. Please help me and cancel No, I wouldn't, account. actually. Cancel Turn my off account. your account. Cancel the account. The worst thing that... Cancel the account. Okay, yeah, because I'm just trying to figure it. Cancel the account. I don't know how to make this any clearer for you. Cancel the account. When I say cancel the account, I don't mean help me figure out how to keep it. I mean cancel the account. Well, I'm so, I don't know what anybody's done to you, Vincent. Could you please cancel the account? All, all right. Someday, when you calm down, you're going to realize all I was trying to do was help you, and it was actually in your best interest to listen. Yeah. Wonderful. Okay. Vincent Ferrari, good morning to you. How are you doing? Man. I'm good. How did you remain so polite? That's the most important question. Well, I mean, honestly, I knew the call was being recorded. Um, you know, I wanted, I wanted to basically, you know, whoever I got, I wanted them to just be, you know, handling me the way they would handle anybody else. You know, I didn't want to press the issue. I wanted to just let them talk, and that's how it ended up that way. Did, had you ha heard some nightmare stories about canceling accounts at AOL? Why did you decide to record the call in the first place? Well, that's exactly why, because I'd heard so many horror stories. I mean, there are people, and judging by the number of comments I've gotten on my site and the number of comments that have appeared on, in, on other sites that have run the story, lots of people are having the same problem. So that's, that's why I recorded it, because I figured either one way or the other it was going to prove a point. Either it was as difficult as people were saying, or it was nowhere near as difficult and people were exaggerating. Well, let me just give our, our viewers a break breakdown of how this call went okay it took you four minutes to get through the automated hello right. then you were placed on hold for 11 minutes then you talked to John this guy <laughs> for five minutes then you had an automated goodbye for a minute so a total call of 21 minutes now when you took this tape the next day finally you got off the phone you had your account canceled when you started to play this tape for people what was their reaction they were like oh my god it, I can't believe he did that I can't believe it's really is that bad you know like you know you always hear the horror stories but nobody's ever actually taped the conversation and you know when people actually hear it going down that way and you know basically I did nothing to provoke him it was just it was one of those things it was yeah, like so what's gold. amazing at one point he actually says to you you're 30 years old by the way he yes says to you, let me <laughs> let me speak to your dad I know <laughs> and that was like the ultimate slap in the face you know here I am he's not listening to me to begin with I mean my he, my dad supposedly had usage on the account he doesn't even have the AOL software on his computer, and he's just not listening to me. And then, like, the ultimate slap in the face was, oh, can I speak to your dad? Like, oh, my God, my dad? I'm 30. So, so no part of you, Vincent, thought, you know, except for the fact that this guy got so obnoxious, you have to admire his moxie. He's trying to hang on to a customer here. I can, I can, look, I'm in the cellular business, and I understand that you have to try to retain a customer because, you know, you exist by the existence of your customers. But... You know, there comes a point where you say, all right, you know what, you've tried enough, I'm committed to canceling, you know, take give a hint. Up. Yeah, just give up, you know. You're not going to get me back. The only thing right. I kept repeating is cancel the account, cancel the account, let just me cancel just, the account. Let me just end by reading AOL's apology. We have zero tolerance for customer care incidents like this, which is deeply regrettable and also absolutely inexcusable. The matter was dealt with immediately and appropriately. The employee cited here is no longer with the company. So we got fired. Five seconds, Vincent. Any guilt about that? Uh, a little bit, but you know what? I mean, he brought it on himself. I do feel bad, but it is what it is, right?
Vincent Ferrari. Interesting segment. Thanks. We're back after your local news. Thanks, Matt.